Head Harvester Bill Arman here from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlam from the East Coast. Hey Ed, I got a question for you. What's this peer group thing all about? I tell you, it's getting bigger and bigger in the country, isn't it? Really? Yes, yes. Landscapers all over are joining peer groups. I think it's a really good idea. I wish I had that when I started my company 46 years ago. So why would you want to do one now? Well, uh, you know when you start out, there's a steep learning curve. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really good to have somebody to bounce these things off of. Uh, there's so many decisions to be made. You, you wonder where to turn. Um, I think peer groups, you know, in my day would have helped me considerably mm -hmm. because uh, if I have that, then, then I could have really advanced farther and made a lot less mistakes. But I think the question many have, and you may be wondering about this too, is it worth the time, energy, and the money to join a peer group? And that's a valid question, right? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Well, I, I would say some of the main reasons to join a group like that would be that, you know, everybody in the group shares financially, and it's all confidential. This, and that would be regarding your pricing, your profit loss statements, and just how to grow your profits if you're not as profitable as you could be. So share financially. Absolutely. That's a good one. That's a big one. I've got one here. Solutions to problems. Right. We all have problems or challenges, how we say in the, in the consulting business, right? right we don't right. call these problems. We call no. these opportunities for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. So we, we have solutions to problems. You know, you're better together than you are by yourself. Mm -hmm. And we have a group of people like-minded you share these issues and you get them resolved. So you have neutral opinions, unbiased opinions, looking mm. at you, taking a good look at you. You may have some new ideas, new fresh ideas. That's really good. Innovation really is a good differentiator from you in the crowd. Absolutely. Right? Mm. And then some people have already faced some of the problems you already, you're already you facing right now. And they faced them and they've already solved them. Mm -hmm. So solutions mm. to problems. Here's another one. Accountability. When you're, when you're the owner or leader, often you're not accountable to many people. So within a peer group, there is peer pressure, yes. right? Right, it's true. So you have an obligation almost. You know, it feels like an obligation. You're going to have to deliver. So you have this peer group huddle, but there is some challenge. You have to have the obligation to follow up. Mm -hmm. And you share results. So it's right down to the nitty-gritty. You're sharing everything you got, you know, yeah. everything out, right? Good point. And it promotes results. Final thing I think is you're going to learn and grow. It really is a stretch assignment for you to get in a get in a plane and travel somewhere, get out of your your comfort zone, and go learn and grow. Oh, so you really I, learn a lot from that, don't you? You bet. Oh goodness. So yeah. there's three good reasons to join a peer group. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, Bill, I think you've convinced us. So what group should they join? Well, let me think hmm, about that. Yeah. Maybe it's a harvest leaders group. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I think he's right. No peer pressure here, folks. <laughs> Why don't you think about that? Just click the link below and you'll see all the information we have about joining the Harvest Leadership um, uh, Group. Where Fred Haskett leads that whole part of our team here at the Harvest Group, it. right? And it's taken off too. It really is. And the, the, the results so far from the first meeting are incredible. It's so like the Harvest Group's almost like a peer group. You know, I could put a lot of pressure on you to deliver some stuff, though. Yeah, that, that's true. You do you know, sometimes. You do yeah. have some stuff yeah, you need to get done. Sometimes. That's right. Too much no sometimes. way. Head yeah, Harvester yeah. Bill Arn from the West Coast. I'm going to put some peer pressure on this guy. Head Harvester Ed LaFleur from the East Coast. <laughs> Not too much pressure, though. <laughs> help, help.